two, one. Welcome to uh, Mafia, the City Lost Heaven. Uh, we've had these uh, planet shots fired before, but not quite this category. Uh, this is a chaos mod with chat voting. So uh, we'll get started and then we'll, uh, I guess, explain what the mod is. We start out in the options map, because why have an options menu when you can have a playable options map? I'm going to turn on, say, chat voting and maybe turn off uh, some other stuff that we're not gonna need and I need to do some stuff in the back over here the polls will run every uh, 45 seconds in chat as you can see you may vote with uh, one two or three for whatever effect you want and when I uh, start run then the effects will start having an actual effect on the game. I'll be waiting for this one poll to run out uh, so that the polls are not delayed when I play. Chad's mod, now that's a, that's a nice idea for a new mod. Alright, so I'm going to see start and we can uh, I guess we can start the time in three, two, one, go. Alright, so, uh, what is this game? This game is, um, uh, of course, a third-person shooter based in the 1930s and all that. Mm, we are a taxi driver who gets dragged into the Mafia, but the more important thing is what this mod is. This mod, uh, called uh, Chaos Mod, wants to... Um oh, whoa, that's Idok. Chaos Mod wants to uh, imitate some uh, Chaos Mods that are already present for other games, such as the GTA series. Uh, it was originally uh, made... Uh, I made the, the mod first with uh, I think 30 or so effects, right now it has 64 and um, if you play the mod normally you'll just have random effect every 45 seconds. Uh, another uh, another member of the Mafia community called Wafu uh, helped me make, or he made um, a bot that uh, reads Twitch votes so that you can actually uh, play with chat voting enabled. So, um, pa the part of the mod that's, uh, uh, as that's actually in the game is all made by uh, game scripts and all that. So it's, it's not an, an actual bot that injects into the game. The one that injects, uh, injects into the game is the Twitch bot. Uh, reason for that is because I am not uh, a coder, I don't have any experience in uh, programming or anything. But, uh, it's actually fairly easy to work with the modding tools for this game and the scripting language is, de is definitely not uh, hard to learn although I do have to have uh, Google Translate and translate from uh, Czech all the time Honk boosting now, that's a nice effect Did I get affected with the Twitch API update? Uh, you'd have to ask Wafu, because <laughs> I'm not the one who made the Twitch bot but I don't think anything changed, no. Um, yeah, the bot that I'm using right now is the same one for the previous update, so uh, I don't think any changes happened. If you want to play this game, then, um, well, you can find it on Steam and GOG, or find a retail copy on like eBay or something. Uh, if you want to play this mod, uh, the mod is available on uh, uh, speedrun.com slash mafia category extensions. Hey, could you take me to the church downtown, please? Okay, okay. Because, uh, you know, these games are so, so good, they, 
they deserve their own category extensions page with stuff like speed on mod, chaos mod, uh, oil scale, all of that. So the effects happen every 45 seconds, they're supposed to be um, 64 as I said, I turned one off because of the in-game music. Oh, we're taking a break again. Oh no. Oh no. 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 I, I missed my turn. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll go this way. Oh, that car actually exploded. We blew up a car. You killed a person, chat. You may notice um, some of the effects can be good, some can be bad. Of course, most are situational. For example, uh, take a break, we'll just stop my controls for 15 seconds. Only cop cars is only spawning cop cars now. So, well, that's particularly problematic in this map because in this map I cannot uh, be wanted by cops or I fail. So I'm gonna have to drive under the speed limit because speeding is an offense. I'm going to watch. I'm going to have to watch for uh, running red lights and uh, uh, crashing into signs or bins or fire hydrants, other cop cars. Oh, blind mode with cop cars is also not very nice. That's 10 seconds. Yeah, just stop. Yeah, just like real life. Except in real life they also care if you drive on the sidewalk. In this game they don't, even though there is supposed to be some kind of... Um, some kind of uh, function where the game checks whether you're driving on the sidewalk. The uh, problem is they don't actually use it for the police manager. So the cops don't care. You may notice they show up as blue on the radar. So in particular, uh, when I look backwards while oh god, when I look backwards while driving, it's because uh, traffic tends to spawn in the in the direction I'm looking. So if I'm looking backwards, less traffic will spawn in front of me. Uh, speed camera, uh, speed camera, essentially uh, changes the camera FOV based on uh, my current speed. Only works in cars, of course. Uh, there is a minimum and maximum FOV, of course. Oh, you got a license? No. But it does get pretty quaky. There's supposed to be um, music playing Thanks. in the Here game. I, uh, that's removed from... Uh, look at all those chickens. That's removed from the Steam and GOG versions. Um, technically, I have the retail, so I would have the music, but uh, I took it off because we're in a marathon, so I put in the files from uh, from GOG. This, now, these chickens are programmed to uh, do a walking animation whenever I'm moving and uh, an idle animation whenever I'm standing, which is nice. Uh, also, as an added bonus, the chicken effect will uh, absorb 50% of damage taken. Which probably won't have much of an effect uh, very often. Uh, quick braking. Quick braking means I can stop instantly, which gets very annoying when I'm trying to brake but not stop. Uh, as a side effect, it repairs my car just because of how the effect is implemented. Some of, the, some of these effects can be abused, and having uh, made the mod, I of course know how to abuse e each and every one of them. Uh, but, uh, yeah, of course, there's plenty of stuff that I cannot do. For example, uh, if I get an effect that will just lose me a bunch of time, there's nothing I can do. I'm just going to have to reset the checkpoint or something like that. Most effects will last 90 seconds, uh, some of them... Ooh, I'm posting. 
Hot boosting is dangerous on this map because of the cops and also because of uh, of that's quick breaking. Uh, because of the cops and also because of um, sp speed limit kind of thing. Where if I go over 120 and the passengers are complaining, then I fail. Yeah, yeah. The music. Uh, you can restore the music. You can find the the files online. First team and Gog. Good day. Could you take me to right, let's honk post a bit. Sure thing. Get in. See you. Uh, this way. Oh, Ghost Rider is an effect that I really don't want to have here because that means my car will explode in 90 seconds. So I have to reload the checkpoint. There's no way around it because I need the taxi. Good day. Could you take me to Hoboken, the Pompeii bar? Sure thing. I still have honk posting for a bit. For like 45 seconds ish. Uh, Hog posting is, uh, is also able to let your car fly uh, with disastrous effects most of the time because you, you're not able to control your car when it flies. It's an. Oh god. It's an unintended uh, side effect, but uh, it is pretty fun to use. So drunk Tommy, uh, it just makes the camera swing back and forth, and it also swings sideways, but it doesn't work in cars, on your foot. Oh, by the way, if you uh, see in the pose the suicide effect, there's actually two of them. One is real and one is fake. So when you vote for suicide, you don't know which one you're gonna get. If there is a tie in the polls, then the lower number is picked. So if um, number two and number three both have the same amount of votes, then it, it picks number two. Uh, if there's no... Oh, wow, you teleported me right to the destination, thank you. If there's no votes, then the first effect is picked. Let's see, we should we should almost uh, be done with the drunk effect. You nearly got us killed. Oh, Ouch. What are you doing? I apologize. Right, let's see what's next. Um, okay. That one can be sneaky sometimes. Don't you know which one that is? Alright, what do we have next? You slow, down a slow down a little. This passenger here uh, is probably the most annoying character in the, in the whole game. This is an issue. I would have to go reverse the whole, the whole way. I'm not going to do that. Break current car sets the car HP to 1, which means any crash will uh, break it and make it explode. And it also makes it so that um, the engine doesn't work going forwards. Some of these effects... Uh, well, the first, um, uh, that's a fake. You got jubated. You got jubated. Uh, th the first effects that were put into the mod I took from, um, well, I looked at the GTA San Andreas Chaos mod effects uh, list and uh, I tried to think about, well, which ones of these can we, uh, or can I make in this game with the scripted language? 
And so I came up with uh, a few, and then of course uh, some were from uh, suggestions from people. There is a suggestions form, although I'm uh, probably unable to link it right now. Oh, Mini, oh god. Uh, Mini Tommy also makes the car Mini. Uh, I'm kind of stuck here. Uh, this is an issue. Of course, Mini car also completely breaks the car physics. It's uh, They're still drivable, usually. But if you get stuck like this, then it's a problem. I would have to wait 90 seconds here. Which, to be honest, I might. For it to run out. Because it probably takes me more than 90 to come back here. Oh god. Uh, first person camera, but I'm not in a good place for first person camera. Also, um, first person camera uh, works in cars, kinda, but it just kinda breaks. Th that's the only big issue that, I, that I'm uh, having, really, is first person camera um, works in a car, but it just lags behind. And it, it drives me crazy because uh, the effects the effect is supposed to work, it just doesn't. So I put in a, a kind of a temporary fix uh, on the user side, where you just press a button to cancel it. Okay, we can go now. The car is no longer small. Uh, I have to be careful not to run over pedestrians in this particular mission because that will also fail the game once again. Not so fair conditions here. The timer on the top right is a fair condition. Uh, being wanted by cops, uh, doing too much damage to your passenger. Ooh, weather gang. It's not only weather uh, kind of tanks frame rate, but uh, it's nice to see. Oh god, uh, okay, just fit be between the pedestrians. Slow down, the guy almost turned into me. And if you're wondering where the shots fired at, they're, they're coming later. Right now we're still a taxi driver, we're not in the Mafia yet. But we're about to have shots fired at us in a couple of seconds. Also, uh, effects. Oh, yeah. Let's take a break. Effects will um, uh, not carry over to maps. So whenever there's a map change, all effects, uh, all effects currently active are just lost. I need a coffee break. Uh, we're being shot at. It was clear to me that I had to get out of there fast. I couldn't handle that animal on my own. I said to myself, We're being that hit. Was probably the right moment for Mr. Salieri to show his gratitude. Salieri's bar was just enemy aim is so completely so random. Uh, what happens is each enemy has uh, a shooting stat between zero and one, and this stat determines the um, the width of a cone in which each shot uh, lands randomly. So with a shooting stat of 1, uh, the shots will be pinpoint accurate every time. With a shooting stat uh, less than 1, the shots will just go more and more spread out. So uh, here, we're not supposed to go this way because it's a dead end. But nothing is a dead end as long as you can clip the walls. This is one of the forms of clipping that we have. It's done by... Oh god! Okay, that didn't do a lot of damage. Uh, that form of clipping is done by playing some, some kind of animation 
after rolling to a wall or after rolling into a wall and uh, the idea for that one is the animation where Tommy puts his uh, fists down after a punch but usually we'll do it by swapping weapons or something like that if you do it at the correct angle then you'll clip to the wall as long as the wall is thin enough there are other ways to clip the walls. One is uh, getting another mini Tommy. Okay. Uh, one wall, one uh, wall clip is done by uh, entering, uh, well, exiting a four-door car close enough to a wall, but not so close that you exit on the other side. So the exit animation will clip you to the wall. Another way is to. Uh, is to get uh, teleported by being on the roof of a coupe car, a car with a soft roof. Uh, so if the car is parked right, then that will uh, uh, teleport Tommy beyond the wall. Uh, another way is to be pushed by the bumper of a car. That kind of teleports you. Uh, okay. Inside out, uh, this effect is cursed because it, it, it turns Tommy literally inside out. <laughs> I'm going to blow up my car there and hopefully that's close enough to the to the trigger. It triggers an easter egg. It triggers an easter egg where it spawns uh, a nice fast car and Apparently that was not close enough to the trigger. Oh god. Don't kill Polly. Thank you. That's Ring of Fire. <laughs> it just um, makes some uh, explosions which are very short range. So if, if I'm in a car, they usually won't hit my car. And also... Um, st they do not that much damage. Explosions uh, can can be made to do more or less damage, and can be made to do to have a larger, or smaller radius. So, in s some of the explosions that we have in the mod are very, very powerful. For example, uh, if if I have a nearest car explodes while in a car, that will make uh, an explosion, which will usually just make my car jump into the air. Uh, same, uh, same strength and radius as a grenade. While well, these are very low radius. Ow! Can't? Come back here. Ah, yeah, whatever. I can only steal a card that I know how to steal, and the only ones that I know how to steal are those smaller ones at this point. And having only cop cards means that those won't be spawning anymore, by the way. Do I have to go on foot? Oh no. We actually have to go on foot now. Because I cannot steal the cop cards. That one is not stopping. Well, 90 seconds on the Copcas. There are some pros and cons to... Oh, uh, let me talk about this character model of this guy right here. Apparently he's a woman now. Uh, sometimes uh, cops will spawn with this character model, sometimes even gangsters will spawn with that character model for some reason. I'm not sure why. Must be bugged or something. We call them undercover cops when, when, when they spawn as cops.
Yeah, sure. These pedestrians are actually as shorter than uh, normal actors for some reason. Well, thanks a lot. I actually very much appreciate that. Now the tank is pretty slow, but it's better than going on foot, of course. Uh, the tank has this cannon on the top, but it's just for sure. He doesn't actually fire. Sadly. Right, here's the easter egg card that I was talking about. Card loses collisions. Unfortunately, that only works in whatever car I mean at the start of the effect. So it's not gonna work now. Uh, but what that does is, well, I still have collisions with um, with uh, the ground, the walls, and poles. But I lose collisions with other cars and with props, stuff like that. And the, with actors as well. With trams. The way that some of the eff these effects work is uh, quite... Oh, oh no! Stop, come back! At least I was uh, steering when that happened, so the car is not that far away. Uh, the way that some of these effects work is um, kind of creative. For example, uh, the, any effects that spawn an NPC or a car uh, work with um, the same mechanic that spawns uh, what's called difference data in uh, cutscenes. Where cutscenes will spawn uh, stuff that's for the cutscene. They use that to spawn cars. Near sighted, I can only see within 20 meters. There's also far sighted when I can when I can only see past 20 meters. Uh, here, okay. That guy there is actually only one HP, and unless he sees you, then he gets like a hundred. So here I'm gonna push these guys together. And then uh, I had two Molotov cocktails. One I used to blow up my car earlier, the other one I can use to blow up these cars. I'm supposed to be um, smashing them with a bat or something. Car loses collision. I wonder if I was in the car when that happened. Because you have to have completed the animation to enter. So normally you have to smash those cars with a bat or something and you have some Molotov cocktails. Okay, yes, I don't have collision. Good. Uh, but if we blow up the cars, it's of course good enough. And my draw distance is now much higher than it's uh, supposed to be. That's just a side effect of uh, near sighted and far sighted. That's because each. Oh, phones, uh, this uh, makes my car faster and makes me uh, run faster as well. Because each map is supposed to have its own draw distance. And originally, when I first made the uh, near sighted and far sighted effects, I went into all the maps and I set. The, um, I manually set all the draw distances. But that gets tiring, especially when you have to do updates. So I just uh, put in the maximum of. Uh, like, a, I don't know, 2000 or something. And that sidewalk almost flipped me. That, that would have made me go all the way back. Ah, oh, I need to stop. <laughs> it's hard to stop a car when it... Oh, no, no come on! <laughs> uh, it's faster to do this. This is, uh, 
by the way, uh, the estimate is 4 hours. That is, um, of course, going to be heavily dependent on uh, effects and stuff. Uh, a normal any percent of this game an, at a marathon will probably take 2 hours 50 to 3 hours. With uh, Chaos Mod, some stuff you can do faster, some stuff you can do slower. For example, you may teleport me straight to my destination, or you may ha make me uh, reload a very long checkpoint. So it's all about what happens with the effects. Yeah, at least it wasn't Okiel. Well, Okiel is not, uh, doesn't exist on this map, so I will just fall out of bounds. That happens whenever you teleport to a neighborhood that doesn't exist on the map. A side effect of the um, long door distance, by the way, is the textures flickering more than usual. Oh, that's far-sighted. Kind of off-putting if you're not used to it. And, uh, or if, you're, uh, if you have to do some kind of precise mu movements. It may come as a surprise that the buildings are all empty inside. I know we expected them to be all full. Right, now I have to find the door. I think it's over here. Somewhere. Yeah, there we go. Alright, next mission. Oh, God. Okay. When I say zoom in, I mean it. Hey, Ralphie. Me and the boys have got a job to do, and I need some wheels. And, and, and hey, Tommy. I got this here, baby. It has about 40 horsepower and goes almost 60 miles an hour. I might have an issue, because if that ends doing uh, uh, a dialogue where the camera is locked, then the the zoom will not be undone. Hey, and I think that's going to happen here. So I'll have to keep the zoom until I exit this map. Uh, or I can just get teleported out of bounds and have to restart anyway. Don't you know which one that is? Yep. Hey Vincenzo, I need some kind of gun. Hey Tom, I think this is the trick. Oh, I love you, man. It should work. There are some apt sound effects for some of the effects. Oh, you can see the camera swing here, left and right. It only works on one axis, though. Ain't nothing swanky, but it's it's a good enough drive. You get into it easy. You just take this, take this little baby and stick it in here. Put the, put the, put the riot a little, and when it clicks, you got it. It's a piece of cake. Thanks, Robbie. Unfortunately, we cannot go with the faster car here. We have to go take this one because it's a four-seater, and we need to bring those two guys along. Uh, the tanks are also not four-seaters. Uh, even though they look like it, they are one-seaters. And those are gonna stay in my garage for the whole game, I guess, now. The one coming up is um, one of the longer checkpoints in the game. Well, one of the longer maps without checkpoints. So... I dread how many times I'll have to uh, do this one, especially since it's a long drive with a, with a couple of weights in between and a slow car. <laughs> ok, 
<laughs> the camera made you crazy. Yep. That's um, that's actually an effect that's taken from the game itself. Uh, in the in the mission fourteen in the boat map, if you take a drink three times, then uh, you get that camera swing back and forth and. Uh, more camera swing left and right than normal. Some of these effects are actually straight up taken from uh, the game. I pass on the sidewalk there so the cops don't don't see me uh, take the red light. But apparently that doesn't matter if my car is gonna explode. Actually I guess I didn't have to reload there. I could have um, exited the car and stood another one later. Some of these effects are taken from the game, um, some of them are taken from Freeride Extreme. For example, uh, Minimum Speed Limit um, is taken from there, the Speed Camera is taken from there, uh, Nitroglycerin in the car is taken from there. Uh, there was an effect called Gas Guzzler, which would uh, consume your fuel. Uh, it's not in the mod anymore, I don't remember why I took it out, but I took it out. Oh, actually, I remember why I took it out, because you could uh, easily cheat it. There's an issue where... Um, there's a cocker here. Another cocker. This is gonna be a mess. Ow. Take some ammo. I would like to get over the bridge maybe? Where are some body? Okay. I need to find a photo once again. But I would like to find one on this side of the bridge. I broke my car. My cars are not spawning because I guess uh, the cars behind me are already hitting the, the traffic limit. But as I go further they should despawn and more should spawn. That one is a photo but I can't reach it. That one is a photo. Polygon over, yeah. I choose a teleport. Ooh, this is very good if I can make use of it, but I need to make it in time. Essentially, I have the ability to choose one of the teleport waypoints now, uh, but only for like the 90 seconds that the effect lasts. So if I, if Polly can do his thing uh, quickly here, then I can teleport to the place that I need, which is this one. Oh, he up, thank you. He's probably gonna make it in time. Should come out soon. Okay, uh, get in the car. Thank you. And we teleport. Oh, what? Okay. Oh no! No, 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 no. Oh, this is an issue because Sam is gonna die now. Sam, please, get out of the car! No! Sam! Ah. I guess back we go. Yeah, this checkpoint is gonna be painful.
a spinning tummy, quite self-explanatory. It's a cogus. It works better in cars than it does on foot. For some reason on foot it breaks all the time. Compass disappears. Oh no. Now I, now I don't know where I'm going. Let's see, next mission is Fair Play, if we ever reach it. We have um, a very recent skip in Fair Play on the race, which actually saves... Um, uh, how much does it save? Like, what, two minutes, two minutes and a half? Something like that? Oh, false, that's false. Let's so do the fun thing. Some faulty driving. Um, no. I don't want to go that way, I want to go this way. Well, we're taking a shortcut here, which... Um, We've seen before in uh, Running Man. Right to here. Oh, quick save. That is very welcome. The quick save cannot be loaded manually, but it can be loaded if I fail the mission, like if I die or something. Right, this one, this way to here should be uh, faster than the other one. Well, I guess we can take a break. Uh, taking a break also stops all uh, actors, so it will stop all um, all enemies. Mm. So, in particular, uh, Polly shouldn't have taken this long, probably, but he took a break as well. My car is like completely shagged now. I would like to find a new one. It's not gonna explode, but it's gonna be incredibly slow. Let me get out of the way of the tram, <laughs> maybe. Before it runs over some body. Come on, get in. 
Get in. <laughs> Go. Pathfinding. Okay. Both is traffic. So only bolt aces spawn, in particular that also means no copcas. I should be fine from that. <laughs> right, so here we get to the countryside. You see some of it. Uh, we're not gonna see a lot of the countryside, but in free ride you can like explore it. It's a bunch of uh, countryside roads, plus with some uh, music that you don't hear in the city. When you have the rainy weather effect, or even the snowy weather effect, the pedestrians will spawn with umbrellas, which is nice. That's just uh, hard-coded into the game. Only cop cars? Well, jokes on you, I'm on the other map already. So here there's supposed to be a shootout, we're firing some shots. I'm gonna fire some, some shots at the window. And kill the final boss of this... Uh, Mission as well as poly, because why not? My next mission, fair play. More driving in this one. So how that last mission was supposed to go is I I'm supposed to like climb into the, the back of the motel and then kill a bunch of people and rescue one of my friends. Maybe take a break. Uh, and then there's supposed to be a car chase at the end. All of that gets skipped because the guy whose car is supposed to chase is already uh, loaded in that room. And I can just kill him. And the trigger is active anyway. This is the longest uh, unskippable dialogue in the whole game. And you made it even longer by <laughs> taking a break. Breaking, uh, is this gonna... Oh, oh yeah, by the way, I took a break, so I guess my controls are unlocked now. Oh, get out. Okay. If I stay in the car when the dialogue ends, I risk dying for some reason. This is not actually faster, by the way, um, because I have to wait for him anyway. But I guess I'm here quicker. I'm not sure. I, I'm not sure I like his pathfinding, and I'm not sure I like having a tank right next to where I'm going here. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, oh no. Ah. Uh. God damn it. So I trigger this dialogue with the car. If I time it right, I'm also able to like um, start going forward while my controls are not locked yet. Didn't get it here, uh, but then I would be closer to the gate. Have guns? Not like I'm gonna need them in this mission. Ah, please move. Come on. 
Come on. You can do it. We'll, we'll get there eventually. Almost there. I'm kind of like stuck on the tank, and the tank is a very, uh, very high weight. So it's almost immovable. Oh, there we go. Broken gearbox. I'm uh, changing map anyway. Tommy is kind of turned around in the car as a side effect of triggering the dialogue while in the car. That uh, you shouldn't drive like this in real life. Honking the horn when going over 60 uh, means that the cars in front of me will move out of the way. I'll take this teleport. By the way, about that uh, shooting stat that I mentioned earlier. In this mission, Tommy has a very low shooting stat, so you can see the shots kind of go all over the place. They go randomly in that cone that I talked about. It's because we're not supposed to have guns here. I think my shooting stat is like 0 0.8 or something, or 0 0.7, something like that. Semi Sara, yeah, Semi Sara, and uh, I think this some other place too, but I don't remember. See you. <laughs> oh god. Um, I guess, okay, I guess I'm here doing the cutscene, sure. Uh, this is actually quite helpful. Because now my controls are unlocked. I guess I'll take the Juliana Bridge. Yeah, so we get to save now. Uh, also, don't drive like this. Once again, I'm like this because I triggered the dialogue while in the car. Oh no, that that's a problem. That's a problem. <laughs> Please. Yeah, that's not gonna work. <laughs> Nope, we caused too much damage to the car. But we have the save right here. Due to a fortunate teleport. Yeah, unfortunately we're not standing up in the car anymore. That gets broken when you load the checkpoint. Oh god, this is still broken. Sucks because it's a, such a such a nice thing. I'll have to figure out how to fix it. Kinda not not sure how.
Here I reload this checkpoint to manipulate uh, manipulate RNG on one of the draw bridges. Because if I reload the checkpoint, I know for sure that the bridge will not be up by the time I get there. You know, with normal timings. Of course, if I have a mini car and I have to drive slower, I guess I'm not necessarily 100% sure anymore. Mini car has a tendency to flip. There's also um, a bug with uh, mini car and maxi car where if you um, if you go to like the first person uh, car camera while in one of these, then it will permanently break the draw distance and size of particle effects uh, until you restart the whole game. So I definitely have to watch not to do that, because it will also make textures uh, go in and out, and uh, will, will just be ugly. And that's unfortunately something that I cannot uh, fix in the mod, because it's some just a problem with the game. Of course the game doesn't, e doesn't expect you to be in a car that's that's not the correct size usually because all cars normally in the game uh, have a scale of 111. This car also has a horn, uh, there's no sound for it, but you can uh, honk over 60 and the uh, cars will move out of the way. That works for any car even if it doesn't have... ooh, nice. Even if it doesn't have uh, a horn sound. So, spawn another prototype. Uh, prototypes are the cars that you get as rewards in Freeride Extreme. Uh, the, most of them are uh, fast. The Easter egg car that I already have is uh, one of them. But a lot of them are faster than that, so I will take the one that uh, just spawned. very self-explanatory. Uh, it doesn't save me from insta-kills, but it saves me from all other damage. Turn the, the engine on earlier, so it's already on, otherwise I'd have to sit through the, the sound of turning it on. Nearest actor explodes, that might have been Bobby. Uh, this also has a 100 meter limit, so if there's no actors, actors being um, you know, a, a person that's not uh, just a random pedestrian, or a random uh, traffic driver. I'll go and take that uh, black dragon that spawned. Well, I wanted to shoot it to get it down, but uh, it wants to make it fall to. Uh, that's fake. You got your baby. I sh shoot it to get it uh, down on the ground, but uh, because of my low shooting start, of course. I missed. Twice. Ow. Right, so this car is faster than uh, the one I had, so I'll take it. 
it doesn't turn quite as well at all. Real taxi. Why well, you've never seen this taxi? Yeah, some of the prototypes just have a, a taxi sign on them, and you can use them as taxis in uh, Freeride. Uh, nitroglycerin in the car means if I uh, crush it all, then it will explode. So I need to be a bit careful. For example, normally I would crash into that pole to stop now, but... Uh, not going to do that. I'm just gonna stop. I coming up is the race. I'll go ahead and take my new black dragon here. <coughs> Some shots being fired, but uh, we'll change them up. We're leaving them right over there where they are. If you kill those guys, you can take the, the guns. Uh, but of course I don't need them right now. We're just gonna race, we're not gonna shoot anyone in this mission. That's for later. Oh boy, speed camera with the faster cars, um, that, that, that's what happens. You just get to the maximum uh, FOV that I have. There is actually some maximum that the scripts allow, I don't remember what it is though. So I hope you have a headache from that. Uh, do I have to go on foot? I guess. Am I able to do this? Oh, the car flipped. Hold on. Ah! It couldn't start fast enough there. Uh. Okay, I'll take this. It's slower, but I... I guess at least it starts fast enough that they don't take me out. Okay. See you. <laughs> Thanks for the car. Didn't see me. Oh yeah, now comes the the new race skip found only well a month ago or so. You may notice my best lap time is four seconds, and that is uh, I'm pretty sure that is a legit time that I got. Of course this is a map where a lap normally would take like a minute and a half or a minute twenty. Yes, the, the drivers in these cars are not actually actors, they're fake. <coughs> so that didn't work. 
So for the new escape, we used to go down that path on the left, uh, but now we go like over here. And I don't know the exact um, the exact points to to do all this, but we go up here, we turn around, we get back on the road. That guy is just flipping. That guy has flipped. And now I come over here. Th this counts as a lap. You can see the lap time. I come up here and go back. That's a lap. And go back. Uh, not a lap. I didn't go back enough. That's a lap. So five laps, very easy like this. Ah, that's a lap. This is how you do races in real life. And that's a lap. I don't know why that works. The race is. Um, the race works completely differently from uh, everything else in the game, really. So, even though we know how to look at mission scripts and uh, uh, what's going on with every mission, the race is somewhat of a mystery. So I'm not exactly sure what's going on when we do that. We're probably just tricking the game into thinking we're going all the way around or something. But I don't know for sure. We're also getting the lap times but not the checkpoints in between. Uh, no police, that means I am deleted from the police manager. Which means no new cops will join the chase. Like these guys right here. And uh, some effects actually break from not being on the police manager. For example, uh, pets explode when run over uh, requires the police manager. Uh, explosive punches also does. I need these cops to lose me. So I can trigger this. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, right, Be with no police, they are not on me. I can just run over the cop and he doesn't care because there uh, are no police. loses collisions, okay. So I'll go down the wrong way here. Never do this in real life. Pass to the cops, yeah. Ah. Uh, okay. I still have collisions with walls, and that's a wall. Where are the cops? Alright, Sasuke Pipe, let's go. So here, our uh, size is a bit shorter than me, so I'm able to push her by jumping into her. Uh, pushing works if we are um, high enough above um, another actor that's walking. Well, not even walking necessarily. 
So when you're going down the hill or when you're uh, taller than another actor, it's very easy to get these pushes. When you're going uphill, it's practically impossible. Oh god! <laughs> you just killed Sarah. Shame on you. Here I need to uh, bring it close enough to a trigger and then I can just leave it there, because why not. Okay, I'll take a break. When taking a break, animations are maintained. Okay, so. Now I go over here, she gets teleported to me, now I'm going to um, punch the air three times, because I really don't like the air. And she can, she can stay there with those uh, hooligans, it's fine, she, she can probably fend for herself, maybe, I guess, I don't know. I'm just gonna run to her apartment. I'm scared, those guys look pretty tough. I need to look for when my head turns. And then count uh, two seconds from, where, from when it stops turning. After two seconds and change there will be a fail, so I need to be turned that way again before that happens. And uh, I can skip, uh, that way I'm uh, skipping the, the mission fail check. Uh, this is something that I found by just looking at the scripts and figuring out how stuff works. And I can do that, I think, uh, like five or six times and then there's a fill anyway. But it's plenty to get to the, to the end trigger. This all looks normal. Uh, yep. I'm gonna pick up this bucket, because why not? Not sure why you can pick up the bucket there, but you can. There's a UFO above me. Oh god. Uh, Black Dragon, where is it? Yeah. Alright, so here we're supposed to um, wish kill, so I have 1 HP for, um, what, 30 seconds or so? 30 seconds. Here we're supposed to find the um, location where the hoodlums from the previous mission uh, hide. And we're supposed to like go and beat them up and stuff. And have a shootout and a car chase. I don't feel like uh, beating up a bunch of people and shooting them and car chasing them. So I'm gonna go there, clip through some walls, kill one guy and pretty much be done with it. I gotta shake off those cops. Ooh, okay. So I'm gonna um, clip to this. First thing I gotta lose these cops. I need to kill this guy, although it might be hard if I'm big. Because the hitbox changes. Uh, I killed that guy because he's the driver in the couches. 
and uh, if I don't, then I have to do the car chase. First thing, I gotta lose these cops. Yeah, we gotta lose the cops, of course. I need to hit the trigger over here. Nice explosions, and now I trigger the shootout over here, but because I have damaged the, the boss, uh, the car chase starts instantly. But because the guy is dead, he cannot drive the car, and so I can just walk up to him. All of this just works. <laughs> Fucking Bethesda. It just works. Uh, it's fortunate that the guy already exists. Uh, it's fortunate that um, uh, that there's a trigger that I can hit. It's fortunate that I can actually... Ah, uh, that's fake. You got you baited. Got you baited. So all of that works out just fine to actually do a skip, a sequence break. A lot of the game you cannot sequence break because the triggers are just not active. But some missions like that we can. Uh, which mission I mean? Uh, the whole, yeah. Right, so we're going to uh, a hotel that we're supposed to like blow up and kill some people and all that. I'll take the drawbridge. It's random chance whether it's up or not. I'll take the chance. As far as I know, it should be about two in three that it's not up. Something like that. It's not up. Oh, that's quite helpful. Ooh, the cop did not see this. Nice. I'm gonna reload this checkpoint to do this nice walk over here. For some reason this checkpoint breaks the, the running animation. As long as you keep it, uh, keep holding W. So I'm supposed to blow up the manager's office, kill the manager, and... Um, kill uh, a woman that works here. I'm going to instead clip to this wall, uh, fly in the air with an uh, infinite jumping glitch and go on these rooftops where we're supposed to be after uh, doing all that. And this is another case where we're able to sequence break because the exit trigger for this map uh, which is supposed to you're supposed to hit after the the rooftop uh, chase part thing with the cops uh, is already active. Quite unusual. So of course we make use of it by just going to it. And there's a trick here called parkour. If I can get it, let's see. I can like jump up here, but no, I didn't get it. We would go on that roof and take a bit of a shorter route, saves like a few seconds. Oh, yeah, we're a good man, but we're about to get into the first actual big shootout of the game. Which is why it's fortunate that we have guns. Makes this much easier. Enemies do not die in one headshot. Uh, headshots just had just have more damage. The actual values are 
well, if you have a leg shot, say that's base 1, uh, then the arm shot will be um, 0.6 times the damage. A chest shot will be twice the damage, and a headshot will be 3 times the damage. These shotgun guys are doing a lot of damage. The Thompson is best fired uh, by tapping, so it stays nice and accurate. I paused the game while turning on the car, because uh, turning on the car, it, it actually, the time it takes depends on the sound file that it plays. Because the sound still plays while the game is paused, then pausing the game, uh, in a way by either pressing the pause button or the inventory, uh, will still turn on the car in the same amount of time, and it will also freeze the, the game time, so that um, say those cops that are chasing me uh, will uh, will not be able to get fa to, to get uh, to get to me as fast. Oh no. I don't want to take a break. The cops are not taking a break. Um, I might be boxed in here. Oh, maybe not. Having cops on you really tanks the frame rate. Uh, you can see that especially when you have only cop cars and um, and they start chasing you and it makes the game tank a lot. Let's see if I'm able to take this car. Ow. I like 12 HP. So, uh, this prototype here is called the Masseur, it's uh, nice and fast. Once again, using the inventory to turn on the car without the cop actually being able to reach me. Fons. I'm gonna lose this phones to a car crash, 100%. So phones and uh, slow down a little does change a car's um, engine power factor, but the engine power factor is also changed during car crashes. So if I um, crash the car in a way that affects the engine, uh, then it just completely wipes out the effect. Because the game sets it back to what it should be. Inside out, okay. Uh, by the way, inside out, so the animation plays the wrong way around, and I exit on the right instead of the left. Alright, next mission. A trip to the country. Sixty-five horsepower, seventy-five miles per hour. How posted? I don't think I need that now. It's, it's, it's really easy. You get 50 minutes, hey, 
dish car or something more than whatever you want. Thanks, Ralphie. All right. I cannot trigger that dialogue in a car because then I just die or something. Ow. Uh, thanks a lot. Uh, it's probably gonna take less to just reload. Well, don't try to flip the car. Oh no, not the compass. Now how do I know where to go? Let's see, now we're going to the countryside again. Uh, we're gonna fire some more shots. This time from uh, shotguns. Uh, all the way on the other side of the map, really? Come on now. So go this way. Probably. Oh, no, oh, stop. Guess we're driving in circles. Or not. Well. Quite unfortunate. Ooh, no collisions. Maybe we'll get it this time. Let's go. Okay, I need to not crash them. Car crashes do damage you if you crash at uh, enough speed.
Okay, we're almost there. Okay, we're drunk again. So here we're supposed to have a shipment of uh, alcohol, like whiskey from Canada or whatever. But everyone is dead and there's a bunch of cops with guns. And instead of raining it snows now, okay. Oh god, ah, ah, <laughs> that's, that's not nice, I, I can't see shit. Uh, is he dead? He's dead, yeah. I guess um, there are some triggers on this map w which change the weather pattern. I guess I hit one of those triggers and now the snow is long. Because the snow is simply made as this guy's drain. That's actually taken from another mod uh, called um, uh, Sweet Winter mod. Uh, that's a fake. You got jabated. I'm gonna kill one of my friends here. Truck crew out there in the back, they wasted them. What? What about Sam? You see him? No, I didn't see him. But the barn was locked. He might be in there. We ain't leaving without him. Let's go back and get him. Yeah, exactly. This is this is GTA Definitive Edition. Okay, let's go. The reason why I killed one of my friends there is so that police keeps a voice line. Okay, so the, the snow is finished, so no more weather for now, even though you hear the rain. Uh, unfortunately, I'm slow. Oh, also the, the FOV got stuck. Because I guess I was in a dialogue or something. Uh, hopefully Polly doesn't die here. Because he's kind of going by himself. That's a fake. Please no. Uh, what is it? Let's get to the save over here, then I can fix the FOV. Well, maybe keep it like this. It's gonna be like this until change of map, I guess. Gonna clip in so it's easier to pick them off. They're not solid right now. Okay. Let's jump. <laughs> he just killed Sam. Hold on, let me uh, go ahead and fix the FOV. Oh god, no. Oh no. What is this? 
Oh, well, uh, the FOV is fixed. Uh, I can't say the same for the lane. Not as good a jump this time. If you jump at the right time, you get the momentum of the jump, so you uh, end up further back. But in any case, you still keep the animation. Which is cool. Now a couple of cop cars spawn and we just kill them. We can rapid fire, even with a shotgun, which is supposed to have a very slow fire rate. Uh, the easiest way is to simply uh, crouch and walk backwards and jump, spam jump. Okay. Mini Tommy with mini sword. The sword is an unused weapon, which Actually, it does a lot of damage, but usually we just use guns anyway. Right, the range should be fixed. No, I guess it's not. And invisible. Works every time. If I uh, click the camera button here, the one that changes camera in a car, then it makes me invisible, because for some reason I'm kind of counted as being in a car, but also not. That's a real suicide. And invisible. Car is slow this time. We don't like it when it's slow. There's three cars to kill, and uh, the spawn of each depends on when the previous one was killed. So if they're slow, then it just slows the whole thing down. Ah, uh, that's a uh, fake. I don't know where I'm shooting. Okay. Very slow chase. Usually they're faster than this. Alright, let's check the rain. Okay, the rain is nice now. Um, I'll take this. I think this is closer. I'll take that, especially since I'm given a slow car for this. So I guess I take the um, the fair play route from here. <laughs> They're scripted to speak, so they'll speak even when dead. I think I actually matched the, the voices to what characters say those lines. But I'm not 100% sure. 
Uh, quick breaking, I guess I'll break at the end over here. Baked for the cop car. That was very quick. Probably need to talk to him. When can I talk to him? Hello, Vince. I guess you know why I'm here. Right. What can you do? Uh, I knew what would happen. What do you got for me? Oh yeah, uh, Ralph is just doing his dialogue over there while I'm over here. Can kinda hear him. You only have to listen to him in like the first few missions, and then you don't have to sit there and listen. Everyone knows the deal. Unfortunately, this is the perfect situation to use it. It's got a short range, but it covers a lot of real estate. You can't miss. I never thought that I'd meet a Sicilian tradition like this. Okay. Need to take the mass over here. I'm just gonna talk to him because I need to do stuff. So get rid of some of this stuff over here. Uh show six. Okay. Cause if the garage gets too full then uh, I'll accidentally get rid of cars that I don't want to get rid of while spamming uh, enter or space or whatever. So we don't want that. So Ometa, uh, we're supposed to go talk to an informant um, up in Chinatown and then one down at the art gallery and then we're supposed to go find the guy and uh, beat him up for information all to find a consigliere who has run away with um, with the account books and uh, sold us out to the cops. I'm not going to talk to the two informants. I'm going to go directly to the, the third guy that I'm supposed to beat up. Of course he hasn't spawned yet, because I haven't done all the stuff before. But there's a nice thing about uh, explosions, and that is that they can damage actors even when they haven't spawned, even, even when they're inactive. And if I uh, damage him with an explosion, it counts as me beating him up. And uh, that was already enough of an explosion, so I don't even need to blow up a car. Thank you. Normally I would just get, get a car and blow it up near him. Uh, but those explosions actually did the job perfectly. Yeah, I've calculated. <laughs> I think um, another run that I did, we had like a nearest actor explodes near there, so we had another nice explosion.
Here, if you drive to a fairly precise spot, then your car just gets launched in the air by the cutscene, and it's hilarious, but it loses a lot of time, especially when doing this uh, sequence break, because we don't get the save in between. Oh no! Stop flipping my car! the other one. Ow. I'm gonna see if I can unflip it. Need more speed. the sidewalk. Please don't crash into it. Thank you. Ow. Don't crash into me either. Stop. I'm trying to do a thing. I walked into him. Ah, that hurts. That is quite unfortunate. I would have definitely been able to get away, especially since the engine was already on. I made sure to turn it on before yes. exiting. Phones? So here, I'll, I guess I'll do the, the usual way we do this. Oh yeah, that's phones. Don't phones too much or he's, or he's gonna run me over. Um, I guess I can blow this up, sure. It's not a particularly fast one, but it works uh, probably well enough as a bomb. One shot. Hippie mobile is no more. The cops know, n know a shot apparently, so now they want to shoot me. Gangsters up here, I tried to have them spawn in a car, so maybe they would uh, chase after you, but uh, they don't do that. If I spawn them in a car, they just aim out the window, and uh, the, they just stand there and try to shoot you from there without driving. They got my tire. I think my car gets repaired in this cutscene anyway. So the tire won't matter. 
Besides, I think it's a front tire. Uh, the back tires are the really bad ones. Jesus, that was close. They must be worried about Frank if they're driving him around in an armor-plated car. Well, I'll follow them and see where they're headed. Ooh, home posting. Ah, so much traffic there. Home posting also repairs my car in, in case it's, it ever gets damaged. As a, an unintended side effect. A flight to the airport? I wouldn't be able to do that. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. It's fine. Right. Let's fly to the airport. Good enough. Do I have a gun out? I have a sword. Okay, nice. It's very good to be able to kill this guy early so I can take his Thompson. Some of the civilians are really in the way. Explosions don't damage me if I'm uh, if my controls are locked. So I think one of the civilians exploded there, or, or a corpse, or a corpse maybe. Corpses do still count as actors, so they can explode by nearest actor explode. Still, this truck better than walking. Uh, that's a fake. I need to know where I'm going. You okay. Got you got jubated? The recoil on the, on the Thompson is pretty heavy, but uh, it's very easy to control. You just um, pull the mouse down like you would in Counter-Strike, except uh, you don't also pull the... Except you don't also pull the Corsair down. Corsair will stay on target. So cops may spawn here, in fact they likely will. Yeah, I can hear them. They have shotguns, so I need to be kind of careful I guess. Oh, they lost me, okay. I'll take that. I'll shoot my tire here, oh god. I guess I'm not gonna be taking this truck. Or these cars. I shot my tire there because I was gonna do like a 180. But um, not anymore. Where are these cops? I guess they're not. Oh! They left the cars here, so I'll take those, I guess. Uh, 
Uh, hello? Okay. Shooting the back tires makes it easy to do this 180 and then another 180 later. Is it okay? I guess I can take that for the memes. Can I enter this? Yeah, hello, sir. Okay, sure. Let's take this car. Why not? I'm probably not a 1930s car, but uh, good enough anyway. And this is one of um, a few unused car models that are in the game. Unfortunately, these do not save in the garage, so even though I'll take it there, it's uh, not gonna save. And it is not faster than the prototype I have, I, I don't think at least. The shadow is wrong, there are no sounds. It doesn't have a name either, oh god! Uh, that's the brakes. At least we get to see first person camera on foot here. Yeah? Right here. Frank didn't lie. The briefcase with the account books was in the safe box. There's no problem getting it. Oh god. I need to fix that. Oh no. I don't want to take a break. I'll be fine without a break. Okay. Why is it in fourth? Only cop cars we'd wanted. Uh, this may crush the game, by the way. Because <laughs> so many cop cars, uh, sometimes that it just crashes. They also count towards the traffic limit, so you get patches when the, all of them are following me and there's no one spawning in front, which is nice. I'm gonna go from the back door here. Oh god. Hit the sidewalk. I'm gonna go from the back door because as long as they're not seeing me I can exit. I can exit the mission. It's much easier to do that from the back door. Luckily. I'm visiting rich people. Um, 
I'm gonna do the old start of taking the car now. So I parked the car there. I'll trigger the dialogue with Vincenzo. But before he starts, I'm gonna punch him. Oh god. That punch exploded late. And then I'm gonna get into the car and it counts as if I had already seen the dialogue. That's the only place where that works. And it's because of how the triggers are set up. So the reason why that punch exploded late is because when you punch or when you commit some kind of offense, usually punching or running over, uh, stuff like that, there's somewhat of a timer that um, that starts. And I'm not 100% sure what uh, determines how much time there is, but uh, until the timer runs out, you're not cleared of that offense according to the police manager. Now, po police will only react if they actually see you do it. But the police manager system will still uh, count you as having committed an offense. And so, because I triggered the explosion for the punch when committing the offense, or when the time effort committing the offense is not zero, uh, that makes it so that uh, so that the punch can explode late if the effect triggers late. Let's see if I'm able to uh, bring this car back. Don't like how it flips all the time. Oh god, no. That, that's not nice. Not with one state. Oh god, the frame rate. Ah, ah, stop. God damn it. Ooh, no collisions. Imagine you're driving and you see a car coming at you and then it just passes through you. That's how every one of these guys feels. Evening, Chief. Evening, Chief. Let's get moving. Great. So where are we going? So, you can open any safe in the country, right? Almost every one, Chief. Why am I wanted? My grandpa was in a business. It's inherited. 
The saves keep getting better, so a fella has to keep up with the times. That's a fake. That's fake. You got debated. It's supposed to be a 50 50. I notice it's quite often a fake. So I don't know if that's uh, a bug with Waffles Bot and how it picks effects. It shouldn't be on my end. Uh, these cops are going to be a problem up here. Because while I can still trigger the next part, uh, I, don't, I really don't want them to arrest me. Because if they lock my controls, then my controls are going to stay locked in the next part. Look at all those chickens. It looks like they're being slow anyway. Okay, we're here. Can you open it, Salvatore? I'll try to. You don't see me. Drive along. Alright, so here it's a stealth mission. We're supposed to sneak into this guy's villa. Oh god. Okay, it's fine. So we're supposed to sneak, uh, that's why we're bringing our car in. <laughs> Nobody will notice this. So the, the idea is that the car is supposed to be teleported outside um, right after the load. But if I am uh, spamming the mouse button, I will start exiting the car before it gets teleported. And while I'm exiting, while I'm, while I'm exiting the car, uh, it's impossible for the car to be moved at all. I, I would like to run over this guy before he blows me up, thank you. He's not dead. Oh god. Uh, this is gonna be kind of annoying. Ah, uh, turn. Good enough. Where's the shotgun? There. Only have four shots. Should be enough. The guy is not coming. That's surreal. Guy is not coming. Okay. God. Why? Okay. We can go. You can make these cars swerve off the road if you if you honk your horn here. Because they're going downhill so, th so they're going faster than they're supposed to. I, I guess that's Pedro Explode one and over, right there. Those pads definitely exploded.
we want to avoid overdoing it because it damages my engine. Ow. Oh, this is a pacemaker, so it's fine. this. Let's go. Still have quick braking, so I'm being careful not to brake. I can use the handbrake, and it's fine. I'll, I'll have guns. There's a cop guy behind me. So I need to throw them away. Alright, great deal. So, in this mission... Uh, there's a big shootout must have forgotten something. that I'm essentially not going to do by clipping in here, blowing up a couple cars with this... Uh, okay. I must have forgotten something. Most of the enemies that, that appear in the shootout um, stored here, I still gotta go do and actors are damaged by explosions, so I killed them all by exploding a couple cars here. I must have forgotten something. I still got some work to do. More explosions, because why not? That one is unnecessary. Now, some of them actually spawned here. Yeah? Because they're triggered by the other guys dying. But they're not supposed to have spawned yet. I'm gonna pick up some grenades. It's kinda hard to hit them though. Alright, once again, uh, more actors, more inactive actors are down here on the bottom floor. And they are damaged by explosions, so we're gonna make some explosions. Can you not stand there? Okay. Oh no! Um, it's fine. Okay, so all enemies are dead. More explosions. And these guys just die in a cutscene. And we can pick up the truck and go. The truck with all the whiskey or whatever. There's some weird collisions because uh, the cars that were exploded have teleported and so there's like invisible, immovable cars that we're colliding with. Same over there. And now there's um, a car chase with a bunch of enemies. But I'm gonna go back and uh, manipulate them to enter their car as quickly as possible. 
and begin the car chase. And as soon as the car turns red on the radar, I'm going to reload and this time I'm gonna kill them. Ow. Now this is the car that was supposed to be chasing me before I reloaded the checkpoint. For some reason it still has the AI's um, the AI's acceleration and handling boost. Because the AI likes to cheat. So we we use that cheat for our own gain. And now the car is faster than it is faster and easier to handle than it's supposed to be. Unfortunately, the maximum speed of the car is still unchanged. Still the same that it would be normally. Ow! Thanks a lot. Even though the car is heavily damaged, because it's so boosted with the AI uh, driving boost, it's still gonna go at a decent speed. Even though the wheel is wobbly and the engine is smoking. The smoke on the engine disappears when you go over something like 30 or so. I guess they thought the particles were too ugly to keep. Because these AI-driven cars also get a much lower center of mass, they're uh, very easy to get back on the uh, get back on their wheels if they flip. Okay. Don't run me over. Right, next mission. Bon appetit, we have another nice shootout over here, and I think we have gangsters, but they spawned out of bounds. They always spawn 10 meters north and 10 meters east, so they spawn somewhere in there. Tommy, I'm really looking forward to this. Pepe is a native Sicilian, and above all, a fantastic chef. Whenever I feel like a specialty from back home, I go to him. Wait till you try his cheeses. Forget about it. Forget about it. He's a great cook, but Pepe is a real master, a maestro. Uh, okay, we're gonna teleport to a neighborhood that doesn't exist and just fall out of bounds. Yeah, that neighborhood is not on this map. forward to this. Pepe is a native Sicilian and above all a fantastic chef. Whenever I feel like a specialty from back home, I go to him. Wait till you try his cheeses. Forget about it. Luigi's a great cook, but Pepe is a real master, a maestro. A maestro? Ow. An actor that's in a car uh, cannot be damaged by an explosion, so that, that explosion doesn't damage me, but it will make my engine slower. Considerably, considerably slower, in fact. Oh. 
upcoming over here is one of the um, uh, most stringent police checks um, in the whole game. Uh, I cannot pass this, uh, or I cannot get this uh, checkpoint if the cops are seeing me or are onto me, but not necessarily seeing me. The only way I can pass it if, is if I don't have any cops on me, or if they are confused and not seeing me at the same time. So here's a shootout. We're gonna fire a bunch of shots. Take this guy's Thompson. And become mini, I guess. Ow. Out. Is that all them? Yeah. Okay, good enough. Move. A random music picks a random soundtrack out of... Um, I don't remember how many choices there are. Most of them are not removed for the MCA, but I guess this... Oh, never mind, it's this one. So we do have music play now. A couple of them are the MCA, so they're, they're uh, removed. Oh no, don't. It's fine, apparently I was breaking, so the car didn't go all the way. So here I'm gonna uh, trigger this uh, next checkpoint and then walk to the left, so I spawn out of bounds. I kill some guys that I'm supposed to kill later. Skipping having to like wait for the dialogue and then jump to the window and do the shootout with that guy. Normally you're not supposed to stand inside another actor, but uh, because he did an animation to get there, it's fine. Where's my master? Over there. Yeah. 
need to wait for him to sit down and then I can go okay uh, I'm, I'm definitely taking this one it's not faster but uh, We'll take the Keiko Naka. Ow. It ran me over. <laughs> so this guy is actually... Um, is actually not unused in the console version of the game. But it is unused on the PC version. It's called the Bigfoot. And there's a version with uh, the US flag and the version without. Uh, I can't see. Uh, okay. sucks that there's no car sounds for these unused ones. Uh, can you not be in the way? Thank you. Alright, we're almost there. This could probably go, go over the wall, but whatever. Uh, I'm gonna do a thing, yeah? So here we're supposed to um, change our clothes. For another Hitman like... Oh, that is not good. Am I gonna fail here? I may fail here because there's a fail trigger. Uh, maybe I don't. We'll see. I'm gonna be Jesus and walk on water with that uh, aforementioned uh, infinite jump glitch. This skips a frisk animation that's gonna play there. And now I'm gonna uh, spawn dead here. But I can reload the checkpoint and I'm alive. Because logic. The water insta kills in this game, but not if you're Jesus jumping on it. Oh god! <laughs> nice. I do a heavy punch as pump crouch so that the heavy punch animation keeps getting repeated and we do more damage. I also punched the target through the door because logic. Spinning Tommy, he is technically spinning here. Uh, it's, it's not. He's not visually spinning, but if he were to like hold out a gun, he could see turn like this, you can also not get, um, it's also hard to get some prompts because for an interaction I have to like be facing towards it, and if I'm spinning I'm only facing towards it a fraction of time. Okay. Also shooting, I can only shoot when I'm facing forward. Mm. 
That would probably be me. Come on. Oh, I didn't do the dino clips. Whoops. That's a fake. You got jamated. Lucky bastard, this is one of the uh, longer missions in the game, uh, but a fair amount of driving as well. But it does have some uh, nice amount of checkpoints in between. So it's not as bad as, say, your ordinary routine. Here we are, lighting. Phones. I interact with the phone both from outside. I can just get in. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh. Castillo! Let's see if we can lose them with phones. Yeah, shouldn't be a problem. Ah, uh, <laughs> hippie mobile again. I'll pass on that. Alright, let's go. Look at all those chickens. They're not supposed to be jittery like that. Uh, they are for the same reason that first person camera is. It's really annoying.
There it is. Let's have a look. Invisible Kasha. Just exit it and becomes visible. Yeah. Guy is just having a smoke here. I have to wait for him. Uh, if I don't, I just fell. Good collision. Explosive punches. Don't think I'm gonna punch anything right now. Maybe I'll see if I can punch someone. There's nobody around. Uh, nope. I'll load the checkpoint here. This manipulates bridge RNG once again. So I can rest assured that when I get to the bridge that I need to get to, with usual timing, it will be down. Although with the Masur, I might get there earlier, so it may not be. Uh, Ghost Rider, I will pass on. Ghost Rider explodes any card that I've been in during the effect, at the end of the effect. As well as giving it uh, fire particles. Meaning that card will be doomed in 90 seconds. Because I, I like this card, I want to keep it, I'm going to skip that. actually hitting the car, I think because I'm going too fast. But the bridge is... is it going down or is it going up? It's going down, okay. So it's down. Being careful with cops here. Stop in that parking lot. Those Ooh. men in black, that's them. Well done. I'll take that. Just teleport right to where I need to go. There's supposed to be a sick uh, song playing during this, but um, it's the MCA. Should be saying I need to not crash. Okay, so we we're chasing uh, Sergio Morello, that's like the brother of the enemy Don. We're gonna chase him all the way to the docks and we're gonna kill him there. Once again, uh, looking backwards so traffic doesn't spawn in front of me, or it's less likely to spawn. Uh, it's particularly important right now because if he dodges to the right here, he can fall under the ground. Whew, thank God he didn't. Uh, slow down, I don't like that. Oh God, that crash didn't speed me up. Oh, oops. Okay, my thinking was I have nitroglycerin, I'm gonna 
Well, no, I think it was. I have uh, slowed down a little. I'm gonna crash into that pole so it cancels the effect. But I also had nitroglycerin. saying, whoops. False. Right, that's false. I need to not get too far ahead of him, otherwise it counts as me losing him. Now both have traffic, I'm not sure I like here because it's more traffic density. Looks like it's fine for now. This is one of those times when like compass disappears would actually do something because then I wouldn't be able to see him on the map so I wouldn't uh, know how far away he is from me unless um, unless I can actually see him. Uh, but with even a quick save it looks like we're fine here. Window sound always happens. Ow, thanks a lot. Luckily, I was going um, sideways, they spawn on the north, uh, south, east, west axis. So, if I go sideways, I can like kind of miss them. Otherwise, I just crash head into them, head first into them. Blow up those barrels that kills a bunch of enemies in the area, and it also frees up uh, Thompson that I can pick up. Ow. Right here. If this thing runs me over from the front, it's an insta-kill, so I need to be careful with that. Uh, so they'll throw out for now. I'm gonna fire some shots. And that was the guy who was supposed to kill. This clip is finicky because it's a double wall that I need to clip to. God damn it. Something like this. There we go. I'll hit the trigger. And we can go. You can steal any car here, preferably a faster one. Did I enter it? I don't know. 
No, I didn't. Okay. Or maybe I exited it. Yeah. Alright, next one. Let's see, creme de la creme. Uh, in this mission we killed the enemy Don. You can actually kill Roth and uh, Luigi, that's the car guy and the bar guy, in this uh, mission without failing the mission, as you normally would. But you need to do so with like one shots. Well, I think shots per from an old Otherwise, the, the gangsters will aggro. At the same time, you could stick to the of course, they get Thompsons, I get this thing. Let's see, I would rather have a Falcon there, but I guess I'll take one of these. We need a four-door car for this, so we're going to be nice and slow. Just kidding, I'm, I'm, I changed my mind, I'm going to go back. Oh god. I'm going to go back and pick up a faster car now that we've hit the trigger. Um, I guess I'll leave it here. As long as it's a two-seater, it works. And even though Tommy doesn't quite fit in the car, it's fine. It's like Mr. Bean driving from on top of his car. Same thing. Oh, no, I don't want to go this way. Hold the shotgun with my right hand and point with my left hand. <laughs> He's like aiming at the shotgun at his head. Don't do it. Once again, it's a car chase, so I need to make sure he doesn't get too far away from, from me, or rather that I uh, don't get too far ahead of him. <laughs> Sicilian Latia, <laughs> with, with a double barrel shotgun, yep. Can't phone right now. Get too far away from them. Ah, broken gearbox. Ah. Okay, it's fine. I have enough speed with this guy anyway. So here I need to rely on Polly to actually hit the guy and kill him. Oh, first try. <laughs> Let's go. Sometimes it can take minutes. Well, it can never happen. 
Yeah, and Polly was in my car even though he wasn't there earlier. He just gets there to the load. In a game, uh, this effect changes my shooting stats to something like 0 0.5, so my shots will be completely inaccurate. Since I'm not shooting anything right now, it shouldn't matter. That poly first try was really, really good. Slow down a little. I slow down a little so my car is lower. Unless I like crash into a wall or something. But that would of course require time. I'm also slower at walking. Right, next up we've got election campaign where we're supposed to like kill a politician guy. Walk during the the fade out there on the black screen so I can catch this cycle before he starts an animation. that was hopefully not a good one I'm not sure I, I think there was a guardian helping and my master is in there so it's fine be able to see having cops here doesn't matter that much I killed this guy I hide his body in a cutscene here. Uh, that way, uh, some cops later do don't spawn. Oh, a teleport. Um, I think I'm fine, because I think my position gets set here. Yeah, my position gets set, so teleport didn't work. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in with the sniper. So uh, when this checkpoint starts, now I'm invisible 
Of course, the enemies can still see me, sadly. And while I'm in this invisible state, my aim is like all over the place. But it's a nice glitch, which I can undo by simply scoping with the sniper again. Probably doesn't do much. Uh, that's a fake. Okay. Now there's some dogs here, which I really don't want to kill. And it looks like they live. Doggos live. The doggos were harmed. But those dogs are in random positions and they are aggressive. They will attack on sight. And they aim? Well, that doesn't matter anymore. That's a fake. Can I make this? Probably not. They need to not be seeing me in order for me to enter here. There we go. And just for relaxation, somewhat of an annoying mission. This was scripted by a different guy um, with respect to like as opposed to like the rest of the game. And so it's scripted like shit, it's like it, full of soft locks and stuff. Yeah, Casual players soft lock on this all the time. It's really badly done. <laughs> of course that's not an issue here. I punch him to get this dialogue a bit earlier. And now they need to like get over here. I wanted uh, want matter here. So here is a sequence break, which saves, uh, I think, somewhere between two and two and a half minutes of uh, uh, whatever old stats we used to do before we knew wall clipping. The idea is we're supposed to like go to a place, drop off one of our one of our guys, uh, then go to the docks. 
Uh, magnets. Go to the docks. Uh, follow our truck. Steal the truck. Unload it. And then bring it back to the dock. That's a lot of, th of things to do. So instead, uh, I'm just gonna go to the dock. I'm gonna go to the port. Uh, I have this, uh, there's this bee on the wall here. I'm going to uh, roll into here and penetrate the V and we have the truck that we need to steal here. The guy inside is inactive but because he's in a car I can shoot him and still kill him. So I can take his papers and take the truck and now the hard part is that I need to hit a trigger over here without hitting a fail right here by smashing into this hedge and I missed it. I uh, hit the trigger but I may get the fail here. Let's see. Nah, we failed. Ah, uh, cause the guys saw the body. I need to reload from the menu otherwise the truck is stuck. Try this again. Up to the V. That's a real suicide. For once, we got we got a few. This skip is fairly annoying because the trigger that I need to hit, uh, it's like I'm like ju just barely in range. So I need to kind of hit it at a good angle so that I bounce in the right way. I natural natu glacier, so I'm not gonna crash. So do the same again, take out the guy. Okay, we got the trigger uh, correctly this time. So we should be able to get to the next map before the fail. In this buff specifically, getting something like a quick save would be able to um, would allow a skip where I just reload the quick save and I immediately go to the next map because uh, the quick save or loading the quick save doesn't initialize the crates correctly. So, in particular, it will um, break a trigger and allow me to exit without even grabbing the crest that I'm supposed to grab. I enter this uh, warehouse backwards so I don't trigger a uh, dialogue. And I carry the crates while going backwards and to the right, that's S and D, uh, because it's faster than going forwards for some reason. I also load them on the truck uh, through the wall. The mechanics of that are kinda weird. Essentially, if I am dropping a crate while I'm facing a vehicle, 
then the crate will teleport to the closer of two locations, either where it was picked up from or where its destination is. And because I'm near the truck and I'm facing the truck, uh, the crate teleports and uh, since the destination is on the truck, it teleports to the truck itself. And they dropped a couple of crates here. In that case, I need to get them away from the truck. Otherwise, the closer destination is where they were picked up, which is on the ground. Going slow here is kind of annoying. Why are they not going up? I can't see anything. Now the crates, the crates are like very annoying, and even the developers knew that. In the in the mission scripts, every function that refers to crates uh, starts with the prefix uh, "fucking box." I guess the devs really didn't like them. C can you go in? This is not supposed to be hard. There we go. I guess I parked the, the truck too far back. I try to kill as many of these guys here as I oh as I can, and they uh, apparently explode as well. Uh, that's because they will chase me in this next part, and I killed all but one. Hi, thank you. Come on, get in. Okay, we're going. Oh, we're not taking a break because um, <laughs> the teleport actually locks and unlocks my controls. So, in particular, it undoes the break. It only does that when I'm in a car though, and the reason is because if I try to, to teleport a car that's moving, uh, the coordinates will get completely fucked over, and you'll teleport to like 20,000 something. So I need to stop the car, so what I do is lock the controls, uh, stop the car, wait half a, se half a second, and then teleport the car. Take the train. It ain't far. 
I train by type. We are in the second to last mission, but make no mistake, this is one of the longest, it's probably the longest mission in the game. Probably gonna take about 20 minutes on this one. It's long. The first part is like a five minute uh, train ride. Unskippable, completely unskippable. Pushing him doesn't make this faster for now, because the train is on a set uh, timer, but it makes it uh, less likely to miss the train. If he misses the train, it's a big problem. Here I'm up here, so it's like impossible to push him. All these pedestrians in the way are worrying though. Because they will get in police way. Oh no 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 no! Ow! Well I guess that takes care of the pedestrians. Don't like my health. This level is the dev's way of saying, hey, we have a train mechanic. And by the way, if I throw um, charge punches at Poli from the front, he can do these animations where he where he gets like scared or something. Nice car. So how's everything going? Aside from the last few jobs, pretty boring. Of course, <laughs> my kid keeps things interesting. Normally, actors' necks have a limit to how far they can turn. But apparently not in the train. And sometimes his head will even go upside down. Oh god. It's fine. Still have the excitement. Oh, that's the worst. Run happens for six months. You start to get lazy and suddenly boom, some action. Both they game worried something might happen to us. So what are we supposed to do? This will be our last break. Be enough to get me a pizzeria someplace. Or something. Oh really? Wait a minute. The body's supposed to be random. I'm not 100% sure that it's actually random, but if it's not then you'll you'll have to take it up with Wafu. <laughs> No, my, my side of the mod is not 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 quite perfect, but uh, good enough. The RNG for um, which effects to pick in the chat voting is on the Twitch bot side. Oh, um, Mini Tommy, this actually makes the train small as well, which is hard to see, but uh, it is a small train. Oh god. What are you looking at? And it can make it hard for him to exit it as well, which can be an issue. We'll see if it is or not. Oh, 
he he doesn't like the gangsters. It should be fine. We'll see if he's able to exit the train. That's a real suicide, and that's another train ride, I guess. Uh, well, that's gonna take a bit. Those are punches. Come here. Fuck you. It's pretty cool, yeah. Ooh. Okay. Aside from the last few jobs, pretty boring. Of course, <laughs> my kid keeps things interesting. You know, I love you, man. I look at my life, I don't seem to be doing much. I go to parties, I'm getting pretty bored. The problem is, I don't know how to do anything else. I think most people would like to change. Everybody imagines the adventures of all these things. It's not about the point of view making. And next up, don't bend that way. His head flashed upside down. Well, I still have the excitement. So what are we supposed to do? Oh yeah, Zomat is um, overwritten by Drunk Tommy. He'll look away soon enough, I guess. For 
Los Angeles. Oh, oh God. <laughs> oh, the big train now. Ooh, uh. <laughs> nice. Well, he's looking away. That's a fake. Are we able to get out without uh, getting stuck here? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Nice big train. Alright, weather gang. Push him on the left part of the sidewalk because that one is slightly down here. So it's easier to push him from here. Don't. Can't. Have guns. Uh. Ooh. Quick save, okay. So Alright. Finally the bank. Normally I would uh, punch him a bunch to kind of make him walk back a bit and uh, make him kind of go towards the exit, but I probably shouldn't do that in Chaos mod. Oh god. Well. Good day. Mm, good day.
goodbye. That's fake. Take a bit. Uh, that's fine. Because we change map, yeah. So uh, here we have some kanji. We have to get a decent car. We're hoping for a last sitter, but oh, can't. We're hoping for a last sitter, but a light will do. And this is a light over here. Uh, minimum speed limit. I'm gonna drop this car. It's gonna explode in 20 seconds because it's not going fast enough. And I'll take a new one. Oh, a Lassiter. Here I'm gonna knock on this door and see if I can. I have guns. See if I can clip in. I knock on the door because otherwise these guys don't spawn and the triggers don't work. Ah, oh, get them it. I guess I'll take a shotgun. Probably get rid of all this stuff. That should be everything. Great. I won't keep you from your work, son. Now you say hello to Polly for me, huh? Sure. Thanks. Oh god, the head. Uh if I'm spinning I'm I'm gonna have trouble clipping to this wall because a rolling does this. Okay, I'm through.
Uh, okay, sure. That's fine. I'll take this. Oh, lag. Okay, I'm gonna do a thing, yeah? So you can still drive in reverse with one of these. Now, I don't need this car to go all the way to the bank. I can just bring it to Polly's apartment. Apparently I'm speeding in reverse. <coughs> And now I honk the horn under his apartment and I can just steal a different car to go to the bank. I don't need to actually use the car that I came here with. But th there needs to be one that I can steal, this one I cannot. That, there we go. <clears throat> okay. So now we go to the bank. Frame rate like 40 FPS. Not sure what's dropping it. Okay, those guys didn't see me. Alright, we're here. Okay, well, we've passed the the long checkpoint, you know, the long map without any checkpoints. There I need nobody to shoot there, otherwise I self-lock. So from here I would say we are probably about five minutes away from finishing, so we will be quite a bit underestimate. So if the streamer is watching, I think the next streamer is, is Matt, actually. You should probably go ahead and set up the next runner. Uh, of course, depending on what effects we get from here to the end. Did I take the first kiss? I'm like 2 HP over here. Nice car. Unfortunately I'm gonna be unable to bring this out. Let's go. Jesus 
Alright, we're getting close. Almost at the end of this mission. Uh, I don't think I want to be there. Just in case. Alright, so last mission. So here I'm gonna clip out of the apartment. I'm gonna punch this guy and enter this car. And then drive away. So they uh, are going to po possibly take that car over there and start chasing me in it. As soon as the car turns red, I reload this um, uh, checkpoint, and now the car should have the AI speed boost. And this is even faster than the one that we saw before in Great Deal. And the, f the car, of course, keeps that uh, speed boost, a boost to acceleration, handling, and lower center of mass. So it's a very nice fast cop car. Uh, the, the additional benefit of being a cop car means that I can speed, I can go up to about 100 km per hour without cops actually noticing me. Although if I do go any faster than that, they will see me. Copcas. Well, good thing we're not going to be in, in the city anymore. Alright, so here I wait before I skip the cutscene, otherwise there's a possibility of so soft locking. I trigger a grenade there. How? What? How did he not die? Oh, okay, okay, that's never happened before. <laughs> Normally that grenade kills all those guys, so I can grab the Thompson and keep going, but Thompson guy didn't die, somehow. Where is it? Where's the Thompson? Ah! I'm spinning, I can't pick it up. Ah! Okay, spinning may be very bad here, because I can only shoot when I'm facing forward. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Oh yeah, also the two soundtracks will get overlapped here, because I'm going too fast and not killing all the enemies. Ow. Ow. Um, I don't think I need a car right now. <laughs> I just have a bunch of shots to fire. Yeah. 
Even though the objective says to kill all the bastards, it's really unnecessary to kill any of them. No, none of them need to die. We kill the ones that die in the way. I'm gonna grab a grenade from... I'm gonna take a break. Now I'm gonna grab a grenade from this guy's body. And I'm gonna throw the grenade right over there. That's the final boss there, Sam. And a few shots should finish him. Um, any is a problem. Oh god. I'll try it, but it may not work. Because in the aim. <laughs> yeah, look at this aim. <laughs> Time and time. That might not have been much of a warning, but good enough. That is Mafia Chaos mod. Uh, once again, if you want to play this game, you can find it on like Steam and GOG. If you want to play this mod, you can find it on Mafia Category Extensions uh, on speedrun.com. And you can find it on all there, as well as like OHKO mod and all that. I hope that was fun for uh, for everyone, both Chad and uh, anyone who wanted to pick effects, anyone who just wanted to see the run. I will go ahead and see end, and I will see you next time. Next run will be Tomb Raider by Kadaev.